Hi there, this is Ryan at Helix River Media with a two minute tip on web design. Today I want to talk about how to use the Inspect Element tool with Google Chrome. Inspect Element is a really important tool in the web designer's repertoire, uh, allowing us to do some troubleshooting and research for our websites. Let's take a look how it works. I'm going to close this out and go to my, one of my favorite websites here, webdesigninspiration.com. Just a great place for some, well, inspiration. Uh, I'm just going to take a look here at, a, at any random website. So if I right click anywhere on the page and choose inspect element. Um, and so we see on the left hand side we've got the HTML code and as I scroll down you'll notice that certain parts of the page are highlighting so I can see exactly where this HTML is inside of the page. And then over on the right hand side, I've got the CSS styles that are applied to that block of content. So notice here that I've got a uh, margin value here. And so let's see, I can turn some styles on and off for the font, letter spacing. So I can check the boxes on and off, text transform uppercase. Now let me scroll down the page and take a, take a look at some of the other styles. So I see, okay, they've got this cool animation effect. Let me uh, right click on that button. And I can get a sense of how they're putting this style together. If I uncheck some of the different styles, I can see, okay, hey, they've got this different background image. What, what is making this happen? And if I look down here, I've got image slash services.png. That's the background image. If I go over here to resources, I can find the image inside of their site here. And I'll scroll down to services.png. So there's the image. All of the states of the animation are all part of one background image. Now I could also change some of the styles. So if I select one of these heading tags, if I click on the styles here, I can click inside their styles. I can change to different font sizes. I could even change to a different font. Now if this were my site, I could copy these styles and paste them directly into my style sheet. So I'll select the styles, copy, switch into my style sheet, and I'll just replace the existing styles. So that's just an idea of some things that you can do with the inspect element tool. In future videos, we'll go a little bit deeper. If you've got any questions in the meantime, give us a shout at helixriver.com. Thanks for watching.